Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Pisces. Okay, Pisces. I did a quick shuffle beforehand. Nine of Cups, right at the top there. So you're either feeling really good in yourself at the moment, or this is what you're really after. But with the Nine of Pentacles underneath it, I think your happiness is linked definitely to your finances at the moment. When your money's in place, your happiness is in place. And I think once your money's in place, I think you're going to be absolutely astounded by how happy you become, how centred, how everything else falls into place. When we're worried about our money, everything else seems to fall apart. So I think you're actually starting to get a handle on that. You're starting maybe to do positive affirmations, starting to realise that the way we you think about your money it's a it's an energy it flows to and fro and uh, I think you're starting to really start to see some real sort of positive manifestation in your life or you will be shortly it's taken balancing up the masculine and feminine sides of yourself here taking the reins in your life No more outbursts. That's really helped, hasn't it? Well, you're not tolerating outbursts from other people. You want moderation in your life and you're finding the middle ground is really helping. If you're not seeing it externally, you're man trying to manifest it internally and you're wondering why you're not seeing it in the external. Just keep your eye on the prize. Keep your emotions as positive as you possibly can. Every time a negative thought comes into your mind, check it. You seem to be actually getting a, a, like a meditation really helpful. Because you're in your energy when you get this. It's... An absolute beautiful thing when you guys have got your energy because you guys are the masters you're the end of the zodiac so I think you're actually starting to master and feeling how good that feels no more outbursts energetically mentally from yourself or tolerating it from others pulling your energy back into yourself Focusing on abundance, your abundance, your happiness, you. It's leading to incredible downloads, particularly in the evening, which is your natural time. Getting those two fish swimming in that yin-yang. It's beautiful. All right, let's elaborate. Yes, it's it's like you're healing your own self with your own waters. That's how I'm feeling. It's like a washing away of all the drama. That's it. I've had enough of that. I'm leaving that in the past. I'm changing my mind. I'm listening to my intuition. I'm listening to spirit. And gee, my life's feeling better because of it. You certainly had a dream for yourself when you were younger. But the joy and exuberance that you once felt seriously might be coming back, even if you're an older person. You could be remembering also those beautiful days of just being able to enjoy yourself and frolic and play. Just see if we can get some more clarification to flesh it out. See what's happening. But it seems very positive very energy. I feel very uplifted by just being in the presence of your energy. Thank you, Pisces. 
big shift. You have been moving away from a lot of drama and negativity. I think you've seen it. You saw it in the last couple of readings. And you went, no, that's it. <laughs> uh, and the shift. Incredible. Yes, I think you're realising that moments of exuberance, um, times of outburst whether it be to drink too much or anything like you know going having that one too many I think you've started to check it a little bit if not a lot and it's leading to incredible happiness and stability what you dreamed for yourself you're keeping an eye on it or you're keeping an eye on other people that act that way now and you go, oh, gee, you know, um, I'm not, I'm not going to do that right now. Thanks. I'm fine. Excuse me. You could be feeling a little bit isolated because of this, of course. To move from a, a place where you were stuck in this matrix of people just, just this dark energy that was surrounding you. And it looks like you've stepped out of that. You've chosen, chosen you, chosen life, chosen happiness, stability, intuition. This could be a period where you end up in a hermitage, as I call it. But you're taking the lesson that you've learnt from this in. Most of your guidance and most of your downloads, as I said before, are coming in the evening. While you sleep, your dreams. But you're feeling like a literal phoenix rising literal phoenix rising you've got your drive back you've got your passion back feeling inspired again you're getting your energy back is probably the best way that without all that dark energy around you draining that from you i think you're real you're feeling absolutely like energized and it's not it could be because you're getting extra energy from the universe to help you through this but it's also all the energy that is within is is yours is yours it's not getting taken by other situations and people you know fantastic and that normally comes from a period of having to pull back your energy all right pull back your energy from a situation, even if it's just for a very short period of time, and go, well, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, <laughs> you know. Let's see if there's any more guidance here for you, Pisces. <laughs> they tend to come out in big lumps, but we'll just, I don't know about all that, but we'll just have a quick look, see what it says. Hmm. Yeah, you were feeling subservient. <laughs> Look at this with the whip. You can see the whip. Uh, it's a very different interpretation of the Hierophant. But um, I, feel, I think you were feeling subservient to the system and to the laws of a group, a situation, other people, you know. I always see sort of see this as a Pisces card with... You know, she's like, yes, sir, no, sir, but no, I'm listening to my intuition. <laughs> uh, I'm listening to my intuition. Thanks. Whereas the more devilish, I don't know, the more darker side listens to all that. Yeah. And it, 
you know how powerful you are and how strong you are. It's going to take grounding too. So make sure you do that. Get make put make sure you put your feet in the ground for a while and make sure you protect your back. I always see this card as watch out still, okay? Even though you're feeling amazing and you're moving on, there's this Make sure you're always looking over your shoulder at the moment because you are starting to balance yourself out. Getting those, as I said, those two fish swimming in the right direction around each other and finding your real true happiness. But just watch out for sliding back into times of consumption or dealing with individuals that tend to wipe themselves out or, you know, that's, you know, that's not going to end well, is it? <laughs> well, they might think it's fun, but I hope they haven't had too much to drink that they end up drowning. You know what I mean? As long as it's shallow. <laughs> yeah, because you want stability and you want balance in your life and you also want a friendship, even if it's just one person, one individual here in your life, or it could just be the two sides of yourself. But you want stability in your life. And it looks like you're achieving that by doing this. So fantastic, Pisces. Well done. What a shift in energy over a very short period of time. A lot of darkness around you in those last readings. I was drawn to use these decks. Uh, not, not the same decks, but definitely less. Look how much lightness there is. But there's certainly... A, a thing here about overconsumption of some kind, whether it's emotional outbursts or all that. Don't take it from other people and make sure that you use your incredible Pisces wisdom to balance the two sides of yourself to make sure that you keep yourself in balance because it's going, I mean, really, absolute financial and emotional stability and ha absolute joy yeah show us how it's done pisces this is incredible i'm really really good all right i hope this helped i love you all and bye for now